what's up y'all and welcome back to my channel the rest of my road pocket blushes have finally arrived so we are going to swatch and try on every single shade together and i am so pumped for this i have expressed my love for this formula in several different videos at this point so i'm excited to showcase the rest of the shades and show you these blushes in action but before we jump into the good stuff i wanted to let you know that i will have these listed and linked down below in the description box as well as any other products that i use in this video so per usual if you're ever curious about anything that i use in any of my videos always check the description box. I squeeze as much information as I possibly can into that tiny little space and keep in mind that some of those links may be affiliated links so if you do choose to shop through them I thank you so so much for helping support me and my channel but let's go ahead and jump into this. So this is what the pocket blushes look like. They do retail for $24 a piece and they come in six different shades. So not the most expansive shade range we've ever seen, but it's definitely a solid shade range. It checks a lot of those boxes off when it comes to your basic blush shades. And I think they're going to work well for a lot of different shade ranges across the board because they can be sheared out or built up in pigmentation. Now these are going to be fragrance-free, cruelty-free, vegan, and dermatologist tested. And the packaging is made from upcycled material. So that's why it feels a little bit more more on the cheap side but I do think they're very cute I like sort of this sphere packaging that they have the top pops off and this is where the product is what it looks like it looks like a little pig in the blanket I will never unsee that now that I have heard that but it does twist up and you get 5.3 grams of product in each one of these little guys now the brand does say that these are going to work for all skin types and I definitely think that that adheres to that claim because these are very creamy and they're hydrating but they also dry down so they're not going to dry down to a powder finish they are going to leave a nice little sheen on the skin but they're not going to leave like a sticky or a slippy residue on the skin and they last all day I find these to be very user friendly they blend out very easily they build up in pigmentation they sheer out they're just a no fuss formula I don't experience any patching skipping or grabbing over or under powder products you can put them on with your fingers a brush a sponge everything they are just very effortless and a no-brainer product. I feel like if you are just starting to get into cream products, this is a really good spot to start because they are so easy to use. But let's go ahead and jump into our swatches and our try-ons. All right, let's go ahead and jump into this. So we are going to swatch every single shade on the back of my hand, and we're going to try them on my cheeks as well. Some of the shades will be on my bare skin, which is where I am at right now. Some of them will be over foundation, some of them over powder. We are going to try them every single way that the brand suggests that you can use them, even on my lips, not on my eyes, because the brand does say that they are not eye safe. But let's go ahead and start with the shade Piggy. So this was the shade that was the hardest for me to get my hands on. All of these shades are currently still available on the road website with the exception of the darkest one which is toasted teddy but i will say the brand does seem to be very quick when it comes to restocks you can go on their website and sign up for notifications on that as well but we're going to start with the shade piggy so this is a really pretty like petal pink shade it's a piggy color perfectly named and we're going to do a swatch of this one right here i have not tried this one on my cheeks yet i have only tried on two shades and i will let y'all know which ones those are when we get to them but this is the shade piggy i think it's absolutely beautiful let's go ahead and kind of shear this out on the back of my hand so you can see what it's gonna do how they just kind of blend and they're just very very effortless all right, so my preferred way to apply these is with a brush. I usually just pick them up straight from the component, and then I like to stipple them onto my cheek. We are gonna try this with the fingers. We're gonna try this straight onto the cheek. We're gonna try it with a sponge every which away. But let's go ahead and go in with the shade Piggy. This is my bare skin. I don't have anything on. I just have on moisturizer. I don't have on sunscreen, primer, nothing. But look at that pigmentation. Look at how beautiful that is. Now I did pick up a little bit much, but we're gonna go onto the other side as well. And I'm gonna show you how they sheer out. Right now, I just wanna show you the pigmentation and how you can get a pretty good color payoff out of these. All right, so coming into the other side, I didn't pick up any extra product. I'm just gonna go in very light-handed, and you see how this is just shearing out. It's giving me a nice flush of color. So you can definitely either get a lot of color or you can get a soft wash of color. These are very versatile, easy to use, and look at how that just blended out so easy.
All right, next we have the shade Sleepy Girl. This is one of the original ones that I bought, and this is a really pretty, like, dusty mauve shade. I really love this. This is, like, my kind of blush shade. This is what I go for, and this one looks beautiful on the cheeks. It is a little bit on the deeper side, but again, it can be sheared out. All right, for this one, I'm going to pick up a little bit with my fingers and just show you how you can use these without any sort of tools. You can just kind of tap them on your cheeks and they still just blend out nice and effortless. It does take a little bit more effort this way, but it's not impossible. And like I said, these do dry down. They don't dry down to that powder finish. They do leave that nice little sheen to the skin, but they're not going to move and you do have work time. So you do have a couple of minutes before they're going to stop kind of building up on themselves but you know if you're looking for just sort of that minimal makeup look you can 100% just keep this in your purse pull it out just kind of tap it on your cheeks a little bit and it gives you this really pretty flush of color not my preferred way to do it I prefer to use tools I'm not a big fan of going in with my fingers but I just wanted to show you how these can be used so I'm going to go ahead and build this up just a little bit more and see what kind of color payoff we can get. Now this is probably going to work better over a foundation than it will just on my bare skin because this is going to be the sheerest method of application. So we will try that again after I get some foundation on, but I just wanted to show you in case you're going for that no makeup makeup look. All right, so I'm just putting a little bit of this on my lips as well. I have yet to put these on my lips, so I wanted to see how it was gonna perform, what it was gonna feel like, and I definitely feel like these are nice and creamy. They don't have like a weird taste to them like a lot of multi-purpose cream products do. So I'm gonna kind of leave this one on throughout the video. We're gonna see how it wears, how it feels. Is it gonna dry down the same way that it does on my cheeks and things like that? But I do think that color is really pretty on my lips. I like it a lot. This is definitely a me shade. All right, so next I'm gonna go in to this cheek over here with a brush and just kind of start very soft, sheer it out, and then I'm gonna build it up on itself as well. All right, second layer, here we go. You can definitely see how that pigmentation deepens up a little bit every single time, but it's not grabbing, it's not lifting, it's not patching. I do have a lot of redness in my cheek, so I'm not the type of person who would put a blush on over my bare skin just because I already have that natural flush to my skin. But if you are somebody who likes to do it, these do perform really nicely that way. I'm really sorry if you can hear Katie kind of hacking and coughing in the background. I'm going to try and cut out as much of it as I can, but she has pneumonia. So she's been to the doctor. She's been medicated. She's been dealing with this for a little over a week at this point. But, um, you know, when you're sick, that cough kind of hangs around. So I'm going to try my hardest to kind of stop and not have a lot of that in it. But if it does end up in the background, just know that she's okay. She is just fine. She's not choking. She is not in pain. She is just getting over a sickness. All right, so this is what the shade Sleepy Girl looks like on my cheeks. This is the side where I just kind of lightly dabbed it on with my fingers to give me just a soft flush of color. And this is the side where I went in and built it up on itself. And of course, I have it on my lips as well. But let me go ahead and remove this and we're going to move on to our next shade. All right, so moving on, our next shade is going to be Spicy Marg. This is a really pretty, like, bright orangey coral shade. Another one that I have not tried yet, so we're going to do a swatch of this one on the back of my hand and see what that looks like. That is very, very pretty. That might be a little bit too on the orangey side for me, but I think it's going to be okay. We're going to try it on anyway, but let's go ahead and sheer it out on the back of my hand. All right, so this time I do have on a little bit of my e.l.f. Soft Glam Foundation. I don't have any powder on or anything like that. So we're gonna do this one just over foundation, not over powder yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and start by applying some of this with my fingers so we can see what it's gonna look like without having that little bit of flush to the skin that I already naturally have. So I just picked up a little bit on my fingers and we're just gonna kinda go ahead and tap this on, build up the shade, show you how I can just very easily blend this out and what that pigmentation is going to look like. 
All right, so that's what we're looking like, kind of tapped on and sheared out with my fingers. And again, very beautiful, very effortless. It does get that soft wash of color. And I do think this is a really pretty shade on me, actually. It's a little, it has just enough pink to it that I can get away with it. I've said it before that some of these shades that are very orange leaning are a little bit harder for me to pull off, but this one is really pretty. I like that shade. I like the pigmentation and you can see it has that soft kind of sheen to to it but I'm going to give this a couple of minutes and show you that it has dried down at least somehow show you that it has dried down but let's go ahead and move on to the other cheeks so for this one I'm going to go ahead and pick it up with a brush as well and just kind of blend this one on top So see how it has a lot of pigmentation when I first put it on, but if I just keep blending and kind of spreading that product around, it definitely starts to melt into the skin. It starts to sheer out a little bit and you can go over top with these as, um, and you can go over top of these with powder as well. So don't feel like you have to put it on and then leave it or you have to put it on over powder. You can kind of take down the pigmentation a little bit with powder, but I am going in heavier handed than I normally would just because I want y'all to see the color payoff that you're going to get. All right, so this is what the shade Spicy Marg looks like on my skin. This is the side where I applied it with my fingers, and this is the side where I applied it with a brush. Next, we have the shade Juice Box. It's this really pretty hot pink shade. This is another one of the original ones that I picked out as well when I first purchased these. And this one is absolutely beautiful. I love this shade so, so much. This one is a little bit brighter than the shade Piggy, but it still blends out really nicely. All right, so again, I do have the same e.l.f. foundation on my face, and this one I'm going to go in with a brush on this side, and I'm going to do it the way that I would normally apply it because I like to go in very light-handed and kind of build up to the pigmentation that I want. So I'm going to pick this one up with a Rare Beauty blush brush, and I'm just going to get a very tiny amount of product. It does not take a lot on my fair skin, so I'm just going to very lightly tap this, and then I'm just going to start to work my brush around and blend this shade out all right for this other side over here I'm gonna go ahead and swipe it on and then we're gonna blend it out with a sponge so I can show you it's not gonna lift the product and it is going to sheer out nicely so if you're somebody who gets a little bit heavy-handed or maybe you did go into heavy-handed shearing it out with a sponge is always going to be your best bet because this is going to absorb the most product and give you a softer blend so let's just kind of go in and blend this one out over here you can see it didn't lift or move any of the product underneath and it is shearing out really nicely. All right, so here we have the shade Juice Box on my cheeks. This is the side that I applied how I would apply it with a brush, very lightly, stippling motions, kind of building up the pigmentation that I want. And then over here, this is where I swiped it on and tapped it out with a sponge and just kind of blended it. And you can see how it sheared out a little bit more over here. Even though I put more product on, the sponge absorbed a lot of it and gave me that softer flush of color that we were looking for. All right, so we have two shades left to try on, and both of these we are going to be doing over my powdered face. So I went in with my same e.l.f. Soft Glam foundation that I've already been using, and then I went over top with my Polite Society More Than a Pretty Powder. This is in the shade Universal Translucent, and that's what I'm gonna be using for both of these blushes. So up first we have the shade Freckle, and this is a really pretty soft peach shade. This is another one that I have not tried. This is one of the newer ones that I picked up, and this is what this shade looks like. Absolutely absolutely beautiful definitely more on the neutral leaning side but you can see that kind of peachy warmth underneath it let's go ahead and kind of shear this one out a little bit see what it's gonna do that is beautiful this might be the softest one out of all of them thus far all right, for this one, I'm going to go ahead and kind of swipe it on my cheek right here. And then I'm going to go in with a brush and start to kind of move this around, pat it out, disperse it and all of that. I just want to show you that no matter which way you decide to put these on, 
it's not going to disrupt anything. They are still going to be very effortless, very easy. They blend out really nicely. It does take a little bit more effort doing it this way, swiping it on over powder and then blending it than any of the other ways, but it is definitely a way that you can work it out. That is so pretty. That is very soft. Ooh, this one might be my favorite. I didn't think it was going to, but I love the way that looks on my cheek. But let's go ahead and build it up just a little bit. So I'm gonna swipe a little bit more on my cheek and I'm going to blend this out. Again, it's not lifting, it's not patching, it's not grabbing. It has that beautiful sheen to it and it is just shearing out so effortless and beautiful. I love that you don't have to when you put these on, you don't have to sit and think about, oh, do I need to do this over powder, under powder? What tool do I need to use? How much do I need to go in with? It is a very just flexible product is what it is. All right, so on the other side of my cheek, I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up with my brush and I'm gonna start to tap this one on over here. I'm gonna build this one up a lot more than I normally would because I want to see what the in full intensity is of the shade. So it may not blend very nicely on my skin because I am very fail fair, but I wanna show you how deep you can take these shades. All right, so that's two layers right there, and you can see it's already significantly deeper on my skin than it is over here, but let's do one more layer and see what this is gonna do. So I'm picking up a little bit more, and again, we are tapping and blending. Yeah, that definitely built up a lot, and I definitely think this is going to work for deeper skin tones. So again, it looks a little clownish, a little blush blindness on my skin, but I wanted to just show you the intensity that you can get with these. All right, last shade. This one is called Toasted Teddy, and this is a really pretty, like, deep terracotta shade. This is the one I am most curious about because I want to see how this is going to sheer out on my fair skin. I think this one is going to look absolutely beautiful on deeper skin tones, especially more towards that deep and that medium deep. But let's kind of go ahead and sheer this one out a little bit and see what it does. My foundation is on, my face is powdered, and we're gonna try this one on the cheeks. All right, so for this one, I think I'm gonna go ahead and apply it the way that I would normally apply these blushes. Because this one is deeper and a little bit more pigmented, I really wanna see how it's gonna behave in a way that I would normally apply it. So I'm gonna go in very lightly handed with my brush, and I'm just going to kind of tap and start to build up that pigmentation. I'm not going in super heavy handed, because like I said, this one is the most pigmented out of all of them. I just wanna see if it's going to work for my skin tone and blend out the same way the other ones have been. All right, so this is what the shade looks like all sheared out on my cheeks, and I think it looks beautiful. It is a little bit deeper than what I generally prefer, and I did have to work just a little bit harder to really kind of sheer it out and blend it into my skin. So for me, it's one that I would probably go in on top of foundation and then powder over top just to soften it a little bit. But with that being said, I still didn't experience any grabbing, patching, skipping, or anything like that. It still blended out beautifully. It's just a little bit much compared to what I generally go for when when it comes to my blush, but I really enjoy these. I think they're beautiful. I like the formulation of them. I've said it time and time again. They are effortless. They are easy to work with. And I did tell you all these dry down, so I'm gonna show you that my hair is not going to stick to them. So I'm just going to press my hair onto my cheeks really, really good. I know I probably look ridiculous doing this, but it's for science. And then sweep my hair away and nothing stuck to it. Also, side note, I do, do still have that shade Sleepy Girl on my lips and it is dried down. It's almost like a powdery finish. Not a true matte, but more like a comfort matte. It doesn't feel super hydrating, but it also doesn't feel like it's sucking all the moisture out of my lips. I do have chronically dry lips and don't generally prefer anything matte, but I think this leaves a very nice, comfortable wash of color on my lips. You can go over top of it with a clear gloss. Even when 
one of her peptide lip lip treatments I love those as well but I like this I think it's really nice and it's not emphasizing the lines and the dryness on my lips either but these are beautiful so with that being said that is going to complete this video I hope you all enjoyed it I hope you found this helpful let me know all of your thoughts down below did you pick up any of these are you interested in any of them what shade was your favorite and what is your favorite cream blush formula that's out there we have had so many different formulas come out lately it's really hard to kind of decipher the good from the bad but I think this is an excellent product and I absolutely love it but let me know all of your thoughts let's light up that comment section have that conversation and as usual I want to thank you all so so much for watching my video and spending your time with me it truly does mean so so much to me and if you like this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up before you leave don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click on that notification bell so that you can be notified of all my future posts here on my channel I do post quite a few videos every single week and I wouldn't want you to miss one but until my next video have a good one Bye.